Hey gamers, today we're going to review the Jetsons board game. Let's check it out. Set up for the game, you're going to get uh, one of these characters. You're going to be Jane, George, Judy, or Astro. And you're going to just put them around one of these circles around the uh, board here. You're also going to shuffle a deck of cards and distribute them out as evenly as you can within the four circles. And what they're going to do is they're going to roll this die and they're going to move that many times around the circle. Now, if they land on an orbit, they get to draw a card. And they keep going around and around and around until they get to the whole deck. But what they're trying to find is they're trying to find four types of cards. Uh, for instance, if you're Jane, you need to find Jane's bottom, middle, and top half card. Now these are randomly put in here. They won't all be in the same stack. They may be here, two there, and none there. But another card that could be in any stack, and every player needs one, is an Elroy card. Everyone needs to have an Elroy card on top of your three character cards to complete. And so you're basically just rolling the die, moving around the circle, making it through this deck, maybe you want to move out and go to this circle and move around, all the players are free to move around the board to any of the circles to keep searching them. Now there are two other cards in the deck that can help or hurt you. First one is an orbit card. An orbit card allows you to go anywhere else on the board. So if you're pretty sure it's not here and I've already checked that stack, I need to check that stack next. If I pull an orbit card, I can throw it and go right to orbit. Now, the only bad one is Rosie. If you pull the Rosie card, you have to take up all the cards and any discarded orbit cards, and you're going to reshuffle them back into these decks and then redistribute them out again. So this Rosie is what makes the game different here, and she switches up the cards. So just when you got it down to the, it's got to be in this to stack, someone pulls a daggum Rosie and ruins it for you. Uh, anyway, uh, the winner is the person who can, of course, get the three uh, cards of their matching player plus an Elroy card, and they win the Jetsons. Final thoughts, what do I think about the game? Well, you know what? Uh, this is one of those little itty-bitty games. I mean, this is very tiny box, very thin, has the instructions printed here on the back. And to be honest, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. We actually got this game for free. Um, we bought something else from the lady, and I picked this up and said, oh, hey, do you have this? And the missus was like, oh, yeah, that'd be interesting. And the lady just went ahead and bagged it. She didn't even charge us for it. So I was like, oh, okay. Um, the game moves kind of quick. The only thing that gets annoying is once everyone starts getting cards, there's only a few out on the deck, and that Rosie pops up more and more and keeps switching the card. And you're like, oh, at the end, you just want someone to win and end the game. But other than that, it's an okay game, kind of decent. I don't know why you would want this. Maybe you're a fan of the Jetsons. If you find it for free or a dollar or something like that, it's probably worth your time. Other than that, it's probably passable too. Anyway, gamers, that's all the time I have for now. Until next time, check out my Twinkie shirt.